In this video, we're going to talk about how we can calculate speed. And to do so, we're going to need to know the formula for speed. So speed in physics is represented by the letter V. So V equals, and then distance, which is D, over time, which is a lowercase t. So here, speed is the lowercase v. Distance is the lowercase d and time is this lowercase t. Now, we can measure time in either hours or seconds. Distance can be in kilometers or in meters, and speed is gonna be in either kilometers per hour or meters per second. So we'll go through some examples involving all of these to make sure that you're feeling comfortable with these calculations. So to start, We're going to look at an example where we have meters and seconds given in the problem. So, oopsies, make that a usable color. Um, what speed is a cheetah running if it moves 100 meters? in 5.3 seconds, okay? So here it's asking us what speed. So we know that we're gonna be solving for speed. It tells us that it moves 100 meters, so this is our distance, and it's 5.3 seconds, so this is our time. Now, we want our unit of speed to be meters per second. Our units, meters and seconds cancel, so we have speed equals distance over time which is gonna equal 100 meters over 5.3 seconds. And that equals to uh, 18.9 meters per second. Okay, now we can be given a problem when we don't have matching units to start. So maybe a problem like this. Um, what speed is a car traveling if it covers, if it, or sorry, if it moves um, three kilometers in 100 seconds? So here we are solving for speed again and we have a distance and we have a time. Now our distance and our time are not in the correct units because we cannot use kilometers per second as a unit of speed, it's not a typical unit. So we're gonna have to either convert kilometers into meters or seconds into hours. Kilometers into meters is an easier conversion. So we're gonna take three kilometers and we're gonna multiply that by that that by our conversion factor of 1,000 meters per one kilometer, we get 3,000 meters. So now we can plug this into our formula. Speed equals distance over time. It's gonna equal 3,000 meters over 100 seconds. And 3,000 divided by 100 equals 30 meters per second. And the last type of problem we're gonna look at is where we are given, um, again, two different types of units. So in this example, um, how fast is a car moving if it travels uh, 30, thousand meters in 0 0.6 hours. Okay, so here it doesn't ask us directly what speed. So the term how fast implies speed. We have a distance, so 30,000 meters, and we have a time in hours. Again, 
uh, meters per hour is not really a unit of speed we typically use, so we want to convert either meters into kilometers or hours into seconds. Um, the latter, so meters into kilometers, is much easier. So we're going to take 30,000 meters multiplied by our conversion factor. So 1,000 meters per one kilometer, and we're going to get 30 kilometers. Now we can plug this into our formula. It's distance over time. That's going to equal 30 kilometers over 0 0.6 hours. And 30, 30 divided by 0.6 equals 50 kilometers per hour.